Well, the Cougars will open their season on Saturday against Stanford, and they'll do so without Corey McKay. Just a few months ago, the redshirt freshman was fighting to become a starting defensive end. Now he's just fighting to walk again. Football is a game of crushing blows, but sometimes life deals the most crushing blows of all. I just miss hitting, you know. I, I miss not being fragile. That's what I miss. The date was May 7th, and Corey McKay, a hulking 260-pound defensive end, was driving home to Redmond. I fell asleep after finals in my car, and uh, I rolled three times out in the Palouse. The accident crushed two vertebrae in his spine, leaving his lower body paralyzed. His father learned of the accident through a phone call from a stranger. First thing he did was ask the lady that came to the car to call his parents and tell them what had happened. We talked to him when he was at the, at the hospital over there. A nurse gave him a cell phone and uh, he just kept saying, I'm sorry. It wasn't until days later after surgery that the football star with so much promise realized what he was facing. Instead of the doctors talking about me, you know, getting out and recovering and walking, they were more focusing on uh, me adjusting and learning how to live in a wheelchair. And, you know, I'm not accepting that. I never did. <laughs> it's an attitude that's serving Corey quite well on his road to recovery. Corey's been like that all his life to the point that it, uh, you know, it irritates you at times. You say, well, you can't do that. Well, yes, I can. I'm going to walk again. That's for sure. I'm going to walk in my lifetime. It's just a matter of how much time it's going to take. Through intensive rehab, he's already regained feeling to near his waist when before he couldn't feel past his chest. And the constant support he's received from his coaches and teammates has certainly helped. I am so happy he went to Washington State. Maybe it wouldn't have happened if he was at other universities that he was offered spots at. But uh, the fact that he did go to Washington State and then the way they responded to it, yeah, I, I couldn't ask for more. Walking is still a long ways off, but if and when he takes that first step, football won't be far behind. Hell yeah, I play football again. Definitely. The accident may have crushed his spine, but nothing can crush his spirit. You know a lot of the Cougar football players will have him in mind when they step on the field at Martin Stadium this Saturday afternoon.